All right, what's up guys? We are in Western Montana today. Um, I have no idea where to go. I asked a couple kids at the boat ramp where they've been fishing. They said they've been catching pike over here and bass scattered throughout the crankbaits. But um, I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll show you. It's really smoky from all the fires in Western Montana. So you can't even see the mountains really today. Um, you can see how smoky it is. But um, we are going to do our best at trying to figure this lake out. I think my dad actually is gonna come meet us out here at five o'clock today, five-ish. Um, so, actually let me turn my water off. See if you can hear me better. Um, we got a cabin right over here at a place and a place to dock the boats. So that's kind of cool. So we're gonna fish tonight and tomorrow morning. Um, so we'll see what we can do and hopefully we catch some, find some largemouth. Catching tons of very small bass on the wacky worm. We found a couple of rock points now. So I'm going to put the wacky worm away for a little bit. There's definitely fish here. I just think the little ones are crash crashing the wacky worm. And uh, I'm gonna switch to a crankbait for a little bit and see what happens. Okay, we got them to eat the crankbait, but we didn't go up in size. caught one on like every kind of method. I've caught one on a jig, caught one on a couple on different crankbaits, I've caught them on a Senko worm, I've caught them on a drop shot, uh, but just one here and there. I haven't really figured anything out yet. All right, so Dad finally found us, caught his first largemouth on a Senko worm. We're still struggling to find a big fish. That was, I think that was a pretty good one that whacked that jig right at the boat. Yeah, it looked good. It was a big one? Or no? I don't know, it was bigger than that last one. Oh. the frog. Oh, there he is. Oh, ho, ho. no, he missed it. Oh, God, right in the weeds. Jeez. That was a gratifying one. Oh, that's a good one. Well, yeah, I got him. I don't know if it's a good one, but he ate it hard. Holy crap. No, not a, not a huge one, <laughs> but he surprised me. <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah. 
getting there. Been saying that all day. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a better one. Oh, that's a better one. Yeah. That's a small, that's a big, uh, large mouth. That's a big. Yeah, that's better. That's a nice fish. It's still not huge, but. But that's a pretty it's getting to be a legitimate bass, yeah. All right, we switched to frogs. Um, we're starting to get some blow ups here in the best part of the night. So we've got a few minutes left before the sun goes down. We're trying to get one more big one before we have to go eat. Last cast. <sighs> Dang it. Thought I was going to get one on the last cast. Pretty sure I was gonna get one on that last cast. We'll get him tomorrow morning, huh? Yep. Get him early. All right. Get some sleep. Yeah. Okay. To be continued. I probably need to be. You need to be more charged up. Yeah. I'm like, you yeah. seem a little. I'll be charged. Your frog was moving kind of slow. All right. So, just got off the water. Uh, we had an okay night. We found like, like a, uh, found like a uh, couple new spots. Um, never been here before, so it was a little bit of a learning curve. Took most of the time just to find those spots, but uh, we are going to try to uh, capitalize on what we found. We also got some little intel from a guy that fishes here a lot. It's also staying in this uh, this uh, lodge or whatever it's called, set of cabins. So uh, we might take his advice and go that way tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, part two coming tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, North40.fish. Peace.